Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Um, today is probably going to be a really short one because I am running short of time, but I wanted to show you some progress that I've made on some things. So we'll get right into it. Um, Psalms 95.6. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Um, I'm trusting in him and I'm witnessing and worshiping and trying to do all those lovely things that I'm supposed to do. So, all right. I don't have anything totally hooked. I have made more progress on, I actually have two things in this bag. Uh, I have made more progress. Oops. See, when you try to hurry, this is what happens. <laughs> um, I have made more progress on this shawl which is going to be a poncho so i've still got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i probably got at least two or three more clusters to do i've got a full ball still and then i've got this one which is maybe a half um of this one so yeah, I'm working on that. Um, this week, I will continue to work on this when I sit in the evenings and that and try and knock it out before I go on vacation. But I may not have a whole lot of time. If I don't, I'll end up taking this one with me. Um, so, I did start a new one. Um, I've got that one that I'm doing. Uh I found a new pattern. It's not really a new pattern. It's just new to me. And I thought I could make this for my kids and have one for each of them um, when I pass. I know that sounds terrible, but I'm not planning on passing. But if I can leave something to them, then that's what I'm going to do. So, um... I found this pattern right here and it's called round the world crochet quilt and they said it fits perfectly on a queen size bed now I am going to do it in pastels for my daughter and then we'll go from there I don't know so I've got a lot of this off-white pink lavender and blue so I've started with the lavender and I'm just making the squares now I did change one thing because i'm not using worsted or dk weight um they're supposed to be about two to two and a half inch squares so their pattern is a two row um you do a circle then you do round one and round two and then you weave in your ends um if you pay close attention i've got one i've got the four ring i've got the one two I have a third row and all I did was improvise and make it kind of like a granny square um, square and I did five of those so far in the purple and I'm gonna make all of them first and then put them together I thought about doing the center part like starting and and doing the center and just starting to put it together I'm not going to I'm just not going to um, I think I'm gonna do it in sections I, I don't know if I'm gonna do it in rows or sections or whatever but I am gonna improvise because I'm short a color um, so I may go and either get another color or something not real sure how that's gonna work yet I'm gonna look and see what I've got first so I have this that I'm gonna take with me and this is a mindless knit so I've got that and Krista's thing that I'm going to take with me and this I'm hoping to have done and then maybe the geo I I'm hoping to be able to take the geo with me but it's looking like I'm probably not I don't know so all right again not totally hooked but in the baskets and it's getting closer too so I have made my two front pieces 
I just have to lengthen this a little bit to make it 32 inches, I think. But I got it up to where it's the same with the crossed. Here's the same thing. And I've got the two front pieces. Um, they need to be blocked. Don't get me wrong. They need to be blocked and all that. And I still have the inches. But once this is five inches wide um, and the same number of things, then I just have to go straight up. So uh, I am down to this much. And I think I have to get to 32 inches, I believe. I don't remember. Can't remember. But anyway, so I put that, I put the front sides on the back burner and I started working on the back. This is just one piece, so I just have to go 18 inches and then make the indention by dropping that chain um, on the shoulder or on the sleeve side. So I'm making progress. Um, oh, here it is. Let's see how. 32. So it has to be 30 inches. So that's not bad. I, I just have to get, and I don't know how many inches this is, but it just has to get up to 30 inches. So I'm pretty close to being there, I think. I think. Um, haven't actually measured it. But that'll give me the front done. And then I just have to find cute little buttons. And then the back is what I, I'm going to spend one whole day and try and get the back totally done. Um, that would help immensely. And then all I have to do is fit the two front pieces to the back and make sure that they're the right length and all that stuff. So, But the overall size has to be 30 inches. And I don't know exactly where I'm at on that. But I do know that I have decreased to my five inches. I was going to do it to three, but then I got three and it, I don't know, it looked too narrow. So I ripped it out and started all over. So I decreased to five inches. Um, I did post it, what I've done so far on the blog. So if you want to go and kind of read that and see, you know, it, it's not a pattern. It's just kind of the formula that I'm using. And this is what I did as I went. Um, so, yeah. Uh, other than that, RJ's world, just, he's riding horses, and he's been doing pretty good. Um, been rodeoing, we had some storms, nothing major. In the farmhouse, I have been getting ready for, um, vacation, and that has taken up a lot of my time, and I am, uh, my hair is everywhere anyway it's hard to fix in the camera uh i've just been getting ready for vacation trying to get things done um get i went and did the grocery shopping i got the oil changed in my car um i got the babysitter for worm i had guppy we did a sleepover so um guppy is the other if you remember i brought back two pups when i brought worm back and guppy is the other one i call them the bait boys and we did a sleepover last night um because guppy was gonna have to stay in a kennel at the office for overnight and i thought that's not fair to him so i brought him home he got along pretty good with hitch it took him a little bit of time to get used to him and then he did get food aggressive with hitch but not with worm he eats with worm all the time. So he just was like, Neh. but by morning, he didn't care if Hitch ate. He, they all were funny because they'd cycle through and one would grab a mouthful of food and go down the den and eat it. And then the other one would come through, same bowl. I don't know. So anyway, we had a fun little night with that. And then uh, I also ended up, and there's a reason that Guppy was here. So Guppy's owner is in the hospital with liver failure, which she is the mother to my boss. And so my boss is having a really tough time. She's an only child and this is all fallen to her to take care of things. Um, her dad is older. Um, they didn't have her until later in life. And so uh, he has a little bit of dementia and she has liver failure now. So 
the single child, my boss, is having a tough time. So if you remember last week, I took another friend of mine, a shawl, a prayer shawl. Well, this week I took my boss, a prayer shawl. And yeah, she wears it as a scarf. She's wore it since for the two days. She got it Monday, this is Tuesday, and she's had it on both days. And she really likes it. She's like, yeah, she left it in her car so that she could wear it at the office and stuff. And yeah, I I don't know if she really likes it, but she's wearing it. And if that makes her happy, that's fine. If she hates it, she hates it. And that's what I told her. I said, if you hate it, give it to your daughter. Anyway, so next week after I get back from vacation, I am going to leave the other doctors because the two shawls that I've given away, I made three for Christmas for strategically placed people in our um, office. I've given two of them away because they need them early. So the last one, I'm just going to do it and say, look, and then I'll come up. I think I'm just going to do like some headbands or some cowl, a cowl or a scarf. I'll see what else I have um, that I'm going to do for them. It is what it is. Uh, we do a secret Santa, so I don't really have to have anything for them. And they're all grown up and they know that if I give it to them, they know it's for Christmas. I told them I'd already made them. I told the one that got it, the very first one that it was um, made for Christmas. And she's like, you didn't have to do that. She needed it now. She needed a hug and she needed to be able to wear that hug. So I did that. And then it was so funny because my boss there's the front and then there's this hallway and then there's the bathroom in the back and it was so funny because i just left it on her desk where it says god loves you and it's again wrapped in brown paper with jute just wrapped with no no tape or anything just wrapped up in brown paper tied with jute and a tag that says god loves you and uh so i left it on her desk she, when I walked past, the door was propped open for something else. And she looks up and she goes, you did this. And she's got it out and she's just ecstatic. She was happy. And I said, as long as you feel good about it, we're good about it. You know, I said, if you don't like the colors, you don't like, the, I said, you look good in color. Her skin tone really, really, really dictates that she wears color and she doesn't. She wears brown, black. We all wear blue in our uniforms. But anyway, so I'm super happy that she is using it. She's got a rough road ahead of her. Um, I am going to go ahead and I don't know when the other doctor or if the other doctor needs um, her shawl. But she's going to get it before Christmas because everybody else did. So, and then at Christmas, they may not get anything from me. They might just do the Secret Santa and then everybody else can have, you know, all the girls in the office can have their cowls and the one guy can have his hat. Don't know. We'll see how that works out. But anyway, all right. I know it's sh super short and sweet. I haven't had any time to do anything but get ready for vacation. And I haven't even really worked on this a lot. I did those little few little squares. I spent one afternoon working on this and I'm trying to get it done. So, and this is the sweater. And then I hope to have one day when I get back from vacation where I can just work on that sweater. And I'm hoping to take this, this one and the Geo with me to work on. I'm hoping to have this one done bef before I go. And if it is almost done, I probably won't take it with me. I'll take the Geo and the little round the world and Christus thing. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes, how it goes, and see what I get done. So anyway, short, sweet, just wanted to touch base, having a lot to do. I go and get Krista here so that we can have dinner together in just a few minutes. So yeah, it is what it is, but I wanted to show you the progress on the sweater and tell you the story of the other um, shawl that was given away. And they are prayer shawls, but you guys know me. She's uh, the one that got it today or Monday is wearing it as a scarf. She's like got it rolled up and 
scarf. I was like, you guys do what you want with them. You know, this is what we call them. You deal with them however you want. So anyway, it is what it is. And, you know, it will be what, what will be will be. So, all right. Like I said, just a quick update. I'm going to get off here. I will talk to you guys later. I probably won't podcast again until after we come back from vacation and I should have some progress to show you so all right don't forget to like subscribe and we will see you two weeks from now <laughs> I just stop and think on the flip side so RJ used to say talk to y'all next week no two weeks from now bye